Hello, thanks for clicking in. My name is Elise Rehack and I am a therapist at Riverview Counseling. I have been checking in with different tips and ideas for families. Parents and families often ask about tips for managing anxiety. In previous talks, I have discussed signs and symptoms of anxiety and ways to discuss uncomfortable emotions with our children and teens. Today, I want to offer some ideas on how we can move through anxiety and other uncomfortable emotions when they show up. Anxiety can manifest in how we feel physically and in our thoughts, and our mental and physical states are usually tied together. So, it is important to talk about ways to calm our bodies and our minds when we work to manage symptoms of stress and worry. Some strategies for calming our bodies are trying to relax the tension that, that we might feel. Deep breathing through slow, even breaths is a great place to start. You can breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth slowly and evenly to slow heart rate and respirations, which often increase with stress. Using stretching or even yoga can help us to relax our bodies, both proactively and in the moment when our bodies feel tense. Progressive muscle relaxation is helpful as we tense and relax our muscles to decrease stress. Mindfulness is another effective and evidence-based strategy that can be used with children to manage uncomfortable emotions, where we use deep breathing and sometimes imagery to calm both our bodies and minds. To further calm our minds, it is helpful to work with our children to identify what thoughts are contributing to their worry and exploring if that thought is true. For example, tomorrow is going to be terrible is not true, it's a worry. We want to validate their emotions and then challenge that worry with things that are true. In the current pandemic, some worries may be valid, like I'm worried I'm going to get sick. We can validate the concerns and use facts to help calm those worries. Facts like talking about steps you would, as a family are taking to keep everyone healthy and well. We want them to look at the situation differently and remember they are strong and able to manage difficult situations. Lastly, when talking about any emotional regulation strategies, it is important we look at self-care for ourselves and our children. How are they sleeping, both duration and quality? How are they eating, healthy foods in healthy amounts? Are they getting physical exercise? If we can be in a healthy place physically, we will be better able to manage emotions. Additionally, having a positive network of peers and adults can allow our children to have trusted supports when they may be struggling. These ideas just scratch the surface of anxiety and coping skills to manage difficult emotions. If you have any concerns about anxiety for you or your child, please reach out for support. Connecting with a support person can help in discussing anxiety and so importantly, learning those strategies and tools that can help us and our children manage the stressors and anxiety that do come. Again, I mentioned many tools and working with your own support person can teach more about what those are and help with implementing them regularly. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all stay well.